Thank you. For Rebel Report, I'm Amber Dammeyer. I am right now joined by Duncan Dye. And today we're going to be talking about the MLB 2023 season. It has been off to an exciting start already from new changes, from surprises. But now my first question is for you, is that what has been some surprises that you've seen so far this season? Uh, without a doubt, the Tampa Bay Rays coming out of the gates 18-3. and three, uh, Pitching Shane McClanahan was obviously an all-star last year and he's just come out and perform the way they've expected him to so far, but it's the offense that really surprises me. Guys like Harold Ramirez, Brandon Lau, who have a bit of a history uh, performance-wise, but they really all seem to be stringing together at the right time. Yeah. It's fun to watch. The thing that I want to say off of that is that, yeah, their offense has been incredible, but it's because of their bullpen, too. You have pitchers like do they do for their starting rotation and able to give them the offense, that chance to capitalize on it, has been really incredible so far. But I have to say, though, if we're going to talk about the National League, we got to talk about James Outman. I mean, he is definitely in the running for Rookie of the Year in the National League. He brings this energy to the team that has is missing. I mean, you were looking when Corey Seager left to the Rangers, when you have Cody Bellinger going to the Cubs, they're kind of missing who are those going to be those next rookies that are going to step up. And I, I think James Outman is definitely one of those people. No, without a doubt, and that's a great point because, you know, the Dodgers lost Cody Bellinger, and so uh, they were looking for that rookie energy, that young guy energy, and James Outman brings it from the left side of the plate. You know, outfield, uh, he's got a good arm, good defense, and he hits for power. You know, throw in speed with that too, and, you know, he broke an NL rookie record for the Dodgers by having seven home runs before May, and I think that just goes to show how good the Dodgers farm system is. Another, obviously, surprise, us being in Vegas, you know, and we've been following this very closely with, you know, within the Rebel Report is the Oakland A's, and they're coming to Vegas exciting, and I want to know, what are your thoughts of this team, the Triple A team at the Las Vegas ballpark with the Las Vegas Aviators, but what are your thoughts about the A's coming here? I think it was bound to happen, you know, Rebel Report, we've been, we've been following along, you know, this, this whole fall, all, all summer, you know, and into the spring, and it was just bound to happen, and I think, you know, it's good for Vegas, it's, you know, obviously maybe some of the residents are going to be complaining <laughs> about traffic, but, you know, yeah. I think uh, overall, I think it just goes to show how much this city is growing, and bringing up baseball team uh, absolutely, you know, demonstrates that. I think, you know, it's going to take a couple of years for us to evolve and adapt into a winning team, maybe. It's a great opportunity, and overall, Vegas, they should be throwing a parade. I mean, it's really exciting, obviously, you know, the World Series Classic. It kind of gets, you know, everyone excited. I feel like having something like that possibly hosted by this new stadium that's going to be built in Las Vegas, and I'm definitely excited. And, I mean, you know, possibly, you know, an all-star game. That would just be another thing to be incredible to watch, to have definitely all these baseball lovers, you know, coming come and join and watch their teams. I definitely think it's very exciting for this. No, I, I agree without a doubt, yeah. That will be it for the Rebel Report. Definitely tune in to watch more of this baseball. Um, and again, I'm Amber Dammeyer. I'm Duncan Dye. And we'll see you next time.